In this video, I will show you how to set the mood using smart home automation. Okay, Google, set the mood. Let me take care of that. But you can also do this with other moods, like to set a Christmas mood, or a party mood, or a study atmosphere, or any other type of mood that you would like to set. Setting the mood is all about stimulating and controlling the senses. I use my smart home devices to control what I see, hear, feel, and smell. As you can see, I give Google one command. Google then responds, which then triggers all my lights to dim and turn on a color from this reddish oranges color, including strip lights behind my TV. Simultaneously, my fireplace turns on and my thermostat is set to 74 and then my scented wax melter then turns on so then there's this nice mahogany kind of autumny smell. And the most impressive part is I have my speakers start playing a romantic Spotify playlist. Now here's how to do it. As with all my smart home videos, you need to first set up all your devices with the SmartThings Hub and the three main smart apps, which are the Ift app, the Stringify app, and the SmartThings app. Now let's start with how to customize your command. This is important because it sets the tone of the mood and you can customize Google Home to say whatever you want in response to what you say. To do a start command, start by creating a Stringify flow and you have to have the Stringify app to obviously to do that. The Stringify flow should start with an ift trigger. Then go to ift and start a new applet and have the this for the applet be a Google Assistant voice command. It is there that you can tell it what words you want to say. I made mine in res respond when I say the words set the mood. If you use Alexa voice command, you have to say the word trigger set the mood. So you have to use the word trigger first. Alexa. It's kind of lame and it trigger won't let you give a custom time. response back. That is the Send one reason why I like Google Home better for setting the mood. Now create a response from the Google Assistant. Mine is, let me take care of that for you. Next, make the that for the ift applet be the Stringify ift flow trigger that you had done at the beginning. Now just go back to Stringify and enable the flow and your command is all set up. Now let's add the smart lights. There are two ways to do this. One, you can easily add each light into the Stringify flow that you want to turn on. You simply just input the light and tell it which color you want it to turn on to, how dim or how bright you want it to be. If you do it this way, you can add any smart bulb that works with one of the three main smart apps that I told you earlier. The second way, two, if you have Philips Hue bulbs, you can do this second way. Philips bulbs are more expensive than other brands, but simply put, they are hands down way better than all the other smart bulbs on the market for their smart home capabilities. Also are better because they offer a better variety of smart bulbs. To add them, I just add whatever group of lights I made in the Philips Hue app and also have them set to whichever scene I created in Philips Hue or also the Hue Essentials app. To add them, I create a bubble within my Stringify flow. Then I make a Philips Hue scene. Mine is a custom scene that I made in the Hue app. So you just go to the Hue app and you can make whatever scene you want and you can add it. Then just make sure you go back and enable the flow that you set. You can do this with Christmas colors. You can do it bright colors for studying and that you can do anytime the Stringify flow is ran. I personally like to have my lights slowly change colors for the best ambiance. But so far, you have to do this from the phone as you can't preset it in the Stringify or Ift apps to do that yet. Also, I love these orb lights. They are awesome lights for setting the mood and they look so cool. I just, I just love them. Next, let's move on to scent. L women love a great scent to make them feel a certain way. And this one is easy to set up. 
get a scented wax melter and plug it into one of these smart outlets. And then add, add the outlet to smart things. And from there, add it into the stringify flow that you've just created at the beginning. And then anytime that flow runs, it will turn on your scented wax melter and voila, a rich, nice, beautiful smell. But if it's Christmas, you can turn it to a pine scent or turn it to a cookie scent or whatever. I will link to my favorite wax melter, these outlets, the lights, the scents, and everything else I've talked about in this video in the description below this video. Next is my fireplace. Now this is a little difficult to set up initially, and so it's a little more advanced. In my experience, most gas fireplaces are ignited by a millivolt switch. Finding a smart millivolt switch wasn't easy, so I won't go over exactly how to set it up, but I will link to the product you will need if your fireplace is run on a millivolt switch, and I will post the blog page that guided me through the setup process to hook up my fireplace to a smart outlet. Now let's talk about the music. Obviously nothing is better to set the mood than music. That's what we always do. Unfortunately, this is the most expensive part. Now you can always tell the Google or Alexa to play whatever song you want, but if you want it as part of this sequence of events that happens whenever you say set the mood, there are only two ways to do this. The first way only plays on your phone, and the second plays on a specific kind of speaker. The phone method is usually the cheaper method. If you use the phone method, create an, an IFT app bubble as we showed before. Only the that this time will tell the IFT applet to play a song on your Android phone. It does not work with an Apple phone. The second method and a much better way, play the music on a Sonos speaker. Of course, you first have to buy that Sonos speaker, but these Sonos speakers are the best speakers anyways. Their sound is so rich and beautiful. Once you have the speakers in the Sonos app, add songs or playlists to your favorites. After that, the only difference from the phone method is now that that will be the Sonos app to play a specific song or playlist from your favorites in the Sonos app. I do not know why, but for some reason, Alexa and Google will not play a specific song as a part of events. They only let you play a song when you tell it to play that song or playlist. They won't let you do that on any device in IFT or on Stringify. Okay, a little about these speakers. You must get a specific Sono speaker that has Alexa built into it. I will link to it below so you don't buy the wrong one. People always wonder whether to run your smart home through Google or Alexa. I do both and use the best of both worlds. But if you do that, instead of getting Alexa, I recommend getting the Sono speaker instead of Alexa, as those speakers already have Alexa built in it and you're killing two birds with one stone. Other than those speakers with Alexa built into them, I prefer mostly Google. You can watch my other videos for more on that. So for me, I prefer Google because it sounds better and then I just have Sono speakers as an add-on item. My speakers are linked to below and everything I talked about is linked to below to help you get the process going. Lastly, as part of the, all this stringify flow is I like to have my thermostat heat slightly elevated so it feels a little more cozy and so my smart thermostat will just change that. If you want, I will also link to my remote control candles you see behind me. I just click on the remote control and I turn those on as well. They're expensive to buy a bunch of them, but they're also awesome. And they just set everything over the top for that perfect ambiance. Hopefully this will help you make a good smart home purchase because I'm all about helping you make smart purchases. Like this video if I did that, Comment anything else you want me to do a video on in the description below this video and anything you need to know. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.